Over at Marvel Comics, Norrin Rad, the Silver Surfer, has had some great miniseries over the years, including titles like Silver Surfer Requiem and Silver Surfer Parable. But Marvel is looking to spin Norrin Rad in a bit of a different direction with a brand new Silver Surfer miniseries. This one is notable because it features writing from John Jennings, who won an Eisner Award in 2018 um, for their work with Damian Duffy on an adaptation of Octavia Butler's Kindred. And Valentine Delandro, the artist of the series, is also notable for their work with Kelly Sue DeConnick over in the comic book universe. My name is Arako Braddock, and today let's go ahead and take a look at Silver Surfer Ghostlight to see what kind of new aspects and old aspects of continuity that are being dug up to tell an interesting and intriguing new Silver Surfer story. But before we get deeper into the video, I want to go ahead and encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button if you enjoy our video. Next up, I want to share some context behind Silver Surfer Ghost Light with Marvel's solicitation text for the issue. Tony Brooks and her family have moved into the quiet town of Sweetwater, but nothing is quite what it seems with their new home. What mystery did Tony and her family unravel that would call upon the sentinel of the spaceways, the Silver Surfer, and just who or what is Ghostlight? Eisner Award winner John Jennings and artist Valentin Delandro introduce a new Marvel superhero 54 years in the making. Next up, I want to introduce uh, the creative team behind Silver Surfer Ghost Light. Number one, this issue is written by John Jennings, illustrated by Valentin Delandro. We have colors from Matt Miller, letters from VCs Jabino. Excuse me, we have letters from VCs Joe Sabino. And the cover for the issue is illustrated over from Taryn Clark. Here's a look at the cover for Silver Surfer uh, Ghost Light. I've been seeing a lot of covers over from Taryn Clark lately, and I really appreciate how Clark draws the character of Silver Surfer in particular. And I really think that the art in particular from Clark really fits with the Silver Surfer character. And I want to kick things off here by talking a little bit about the art um, from Valentin Delandro. I think Delandro turns in exceptional work in this issue. I love sort of the aesthetic of the issue and that really kind of, um, you know, thick line that we see from Delandro. Um, there's so much detail on like each page. If you look in the background of any given panels, there's so many kind of shirts arranged here in this closet. There's all this furniture that's illustrated in the background of the panel that helps give, I think, each of these panels a lot more depth than they would have felt otherwise. Also, so much of this story is kind of centered around, um, you know, this character of Tony Brooks as she's trying to get used to her new life um, with her family moving over to Sweetwater. Uh, so just watching Tony start to acclimate uh, along with her family and, um, you know, her brother Josh is very, um, you know, intriguing through throughout the issue. I really appreciate the fact that Delandro um, you know, tries to make Tony's house seem interesting because a large portion of this issue is set in Tony's house, um, which is a little bit disconnected from the main Silver Surfer story. So the fact that um, even though this is kind of more of an issue kind of setting the tone of the series, Valentin Delandro is fully committed to kind of like the script over from John Jennings and ensures that even the, fa even the house that the family is living in in the issue seems interesting on some level um, due to all the interesting uh, kind of like artwork and detail uh, fleshed out in the background of the issue. Uh, Jennings really um, crafts great dialogue for the characters. They always have, you know, really interesting and insightful things to say. They're always kind of lending their humor in situations that call for it. The issue has kind of like a great callback to uh, the medium of like jazz music um, throughout the issue. And I really like some of those themes and how they kind of segue into the issue as well. So I really like these kind of slow burn stories that kind of slowly introduce the premise of the story. We aren't really treated to kind of um, even the Silver Surfer character until the very end of this issue. And I really enjoy kind of like the interesting context that the Silver Surfer shows up in. 
instead of kind of like formally introducing himself when the silver surfer shows up in the story it's for a very specific um you know reason in comic book continuity and it feels like even though tony and her family isn't quite aware of what's going on it feels like there are people who know exactly kind of what is happening and you know what's going to transpire next over in you know future issues of the series I just love kind of the approach that Jennings has to all of the writing throughout the series. Um, you know, the fact that all of these kind of, you know, Tony and, and her family, all of these characters have such naturalistic dialogue. And the fact that we get Silver Surfer kind of late into the issue, speaking his usual verbose language, gives him this sort of presence over on the page that's really interesting to behold. Also, um, you know, this book has such a massive change in tone when Silver Surfer and uh, the Ghostlight character, you know, start to appear in the issue. And I love kind of how the art is kind of more tame and restricted when these characters show up to kind of show you the difference between uh, the world of Sweetwater and the bombastic world that the Silver Surfer occupies in his life. And one of the things that I liked about this issue, but I don't want to spoil, is the fact that there actually is some continuity um, being dug up here from the Silver Surfer's past. The more I read about kind of this character and some of the background behind the issue, the more intrigued in the series that I actually was. And I love the fact that um, Jennings has spent so much time kind of fleshing out a point of view character with Tony. I just think there's so many things about this issue that could be really interesting moving forward with Marvel. I will say, though, as I, I really should make clear in, in all of these other videos, a lot of these stories with kind of these younger characters, some of the quality of these stories w is, is going to be reinforced really nicely if Marvel continues to commit to these characters with additional miniseries or stories following this. So... Silver Surfer Ghostlight could age even better if, um, you know, the character of Ghostlight and the character of Tony go on to really inform and shape, you know, the future of the Silver Surfer universe. So that's more so up to kind of Marvel's editorial to flesh out. But I think the groundwork that's being set in Silver Surfer Ghostlight number one is um, absolutely formidable and wonderful work from uh, John Jennings and Valentin Delandro. So those were some of my thoughts over on Silver Surfer Ghostlight number one. I think this is a great issue introducing a kind of key aspect of the Silver Surfer's life that's been gone for such a long time. I think the naturalistic dialogue and the approach of having kind of a, a quiet family, you know, slowly start to find themselves in the middle of Silver Surfer's universe is an incredibly kind of compelling hook for a story. Uh, I think the art in this issue is absolutely wonderful from Delandro. The, the page compositions, the detail in the background of all these panels is just something wonderful to behold. I want to know from you, what were your thoughts on Silver Surfer Ghostlight number one. Did you think this script really had um, a strong sense of thought and care put behind it? And also, do you appreciate the way that kind of Delandro lays out all these lines and designs some of the pages? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I had a blast going deeper into kind of Silver Surfer's life and learning more about the mysterious ghost light. Thank you so much for checking out the video and we'll be back really soon with more comic book content. We'll see you soon. Bye.